Okay, Kathy, this is day one, first lesson. Now, a lot of good things here, but some of the main things we want to work on with the setup. We want to try to get a little stronger in your left hand. Make sure we can see at least two and a half knuckles. Make sure that V of the left hand is going up towards your right ear. Right now, the V is going directly up towards the middle of your face, and it just keeps your blade open a little bit. Number two, we want to relax the elbows. We don't need them that locked out, that stiff. We want to relax the right arm. It should be under from the back here. I should be able to see your left arm. So your right elbow is always under your left arm. Now, as the clubs get longer, we learned about ball position. As the clubs get longer, we're going to widen. Your ball position's in a good spot there. But what we're going to do with the driver to help you get more of a turn is actually widen up just a little bit. That's good position right there for, oh, maybe a five iron. Now, as we start to take the club back, we our whole goal is to turn the upper body around a brace lower body. So as we go back, we're trying to make a good solid shoulder turn around the right post, which is your right leg, keeping the weight on the inside. So I like how you take the club back and you get good width. Okay, club might go a little outside. That's okay. I'm not going to change that. Really good width. Club's in a pretty good position there. But if we look at over on the left, our whole goal is to get our left shoulder over our right thigh. As you turn back, you're going to see it's more arms and hands doing the work than it is actually shoulders around a lower body. Now, as we get to this position here, notice how your lower body, you lose all your coil. Your lower body is doing more of the work than your upper body. So we're going to really work on pretending you're holding a beach ball between your legs and keeping your rear end sitting on a chair so your hips don't turn too much and we don't rock the weight to the outside of the right foot. We want to keep the weight on the inside of that right foot. Now, as you get to the top, we're going to see if we ever get the left shoulder over the right thigh. So we're going to give you some drills. And right here, you kind of stop. You've only gone back. That left shoulder is really over your left. It never really got out. You do kind of a kick out with the hips, which gives you a false feeling that you made a good turn. Then it's more of a lift to the top. We're going to kind of get away from thinking about what your arms and hands are. You're in a really good position at the top. Okay, nothing wrong with this position. Blade square. Now, what does it look like as we start the downswing? You already told me the lower body's supposed to do it, but if you watch your swing, the first move, there's the top of the swing, the first move coming down is the hands. So we're going to retrain. If we tighten down your hips, they'll want to unwind before the hands unwind. And that will get us a lot more spring and a lot more speed with the club. So instead of the hands doing that first work at the top, we really want to feel the hips. The downswing is this, Kathy. It's a slurn, a slight slide. So your hips, your first move is going to be a slide this way. Then we're going to have this huge turn. So we're really going to, the turn is what's weak. You do a great slide. Look at that. Slid right back into the wall, but now look how your club's totally released. So what we call that is an early release. We've lost all our energy. Your club is going really, really fast right there, but the ball's a foot and a half away. So we want that speed at the ball, not a foot and a half before the ball. We're going to do that by learning to turn your upper body around your lower body and getting a slight slide. But this big turn is, is what we really got to work on. So it impacts your weights 90% on that front foot. Okay, I'm going to send this to you.